Today, we are talking about spoilers. Yes, I know we hate them for the most part, but I thought for today's video, I will break it down into three different ways that I believe spoilers affect people. If I'm going to have a channel that talks about all of cinema, specifically anime, I feel it's only right for me to mention the possible consequences or better said downsides of just being a little too deep in to your favorite show. There is nothing worse in the cinema world than being excited for a new movie and you have a friend or an unwanted source that just tells you the whole ending of it. Or a part of our case today in anime when they spoil a character's new form or something of that sort. One of the most irritable things in the world, right? Well, I say it's all about perspective. And no, I'm not supporting people that spoil media because sometimes it's like, why? Think in the sense that a friend just told you blatantly what happened. Or you are randomly scrolling through social media and somehow the full ending scene to a show you were excited for is just dropped in front of you and you can't do anything about it. It really sucks, but I'll say it again. It's all about perspective. A funny word, matter of fact. To put it simple, perspective is the different point of views a certain group of individuals have towards a topic. As I said though, to relate perspectives onto spoilers, I will put this video into three segments. When it ruins, when you escape, and when it benefits. Like always guys, I'm gonna do my best to relate to y'all while telling my own experience. So listen up. So just as y'all saw, we got to speak on when it ruins first. Now, this is the times where spoilers are so common. You don't even need to catch up to a series because every time something big happens, you can't run from it. It will somehow come to you. <clears throat> Now there is this system of spoilers for manga chapters before they even come out and usually that little secret of juice is kept seat is kept in the community right but let it be the JJK community and let it be anything decent or big that happened I swear you'll know the when the why the where the how everything you wouldn't know everything that just happened in the recent chapter and i respect jjk as a manga series and of course we love the anime but i have no feelings towards catching up and this is just my opinion or feelings on this i trust that i will explain later in the vid how my own opinion can be deferred but yeah this is the best example for when spoilers can ruin a series for someone in this case me when it gets so bad that you become numb to new information that you don't even care to read for yourself because and no offense when i say this but it's facts jjk is more battle driven than lore driven and that's fine but i say this because when you get spoiled for a series like this that's pretty much everything you need to know who's fighting who who won and who lost after they tell you that you're pretty much caught up there may be a little extra info but that's really it and it's not even just getting spoiled it's how you get spoiled for jjk you would just be chilling randomly scrolling through something and you would see a bait post i'm not saying it's meant to be bait from the creator of the post but sometimes you see a tweet that is so bad it seems like bait you know i'm seeing posts like gojo officially clears Goku. i don't care i don't care i don't care like, bro, Goku is somewhere chilling, minding his business, and JJK fans seem to find a way to make him the topic when he has nothing to do with anything. And they'll drop a full reasoning and power scaling sheet. Now, I know literally everything about Gojo's Infinity, and it's funny because the Goku they are comparing him to has no arms, no leg, and just a mouth. <laughs> That's exactly how they get you, bro. And I know it's my fault, but it's not just me falling for this stuff. Come on, bro. I will say as an anime only watcher, good shit, Yuji. I'm proud of you. Finally acted like the MC. And this is a spoiler vid, but I won't be spoiling anything. Just know that I know he finally did his thing. But it's like you becoming knowledge on a show you haven't even gave an eye to personally. And in this case, a more battle driven shonen with not much deep, deep lore. You have less reason to watch and learn more because your mind could already be set on something fresh and new for you to learn and watch. So that series that's been spoiled for you gets put away with the others because you don't care to venture through something you know the ending of. That's how I look at anime and manga. 
it's entertainment, but also a learning experience on the side. So when something gets blatantly spoiled from the front to back, it takes away the raw and authentic feeling when you want to experience something. So to summarize my take on how spoilers can ruin something for you, it's just when you can't do the next thing on the board, which is escape it. Now, this is when spoilers are to a minimum. Do you have those friends who constantly speak on an anime, but they don't really spoil it? They just can't stop telling you how good it is and you should watch it. The actual best kind of friends to have because they give you the chance to build your own relationship with the series. Then once you're caught up or whatever, the talks you have with this friend hit like no other for example full metal alchemist before i was ever even into anime all i heard was how it's so good some people's greatest anime all time and how brotherhood is even better i've only seen good opinions on this show i've never even got spoiled on what it's even about like i went into this show fully blind now i consider it one of my favorites and i'm not even done yet not to mention how good it feels to be involved in these convos i've had to avoid before and that furthers my reason why naturally watching the show is obviously the better way to go out because when you escape them serious spoilers and find out actually why people enjoy these shows it makes you want to watch and you get interested yourself and with this being a spoiler video i don't want to spend too much time on when you escape them because what's the point i just wanted to use this perspective and the one before to help finalize my thoughts on why i believe that spoilers could help benefit an experience now i'm gonna start with how parts of my last two reasonings can actually be a positive sometimes remember when i said i can differ my own opinion well, here we are. Now, I've been spoiled, peer pressured, all of the above when it comes to One Piece. Especially when it comes to big, big chapters. For example, two, maybe almost three years ago, the legendary Gear 5 chapter dropped. And I was never really into One Piece at this point. Better yet, anime in general. I seen the manga version and the colored version way before it even got animated. But this really didn't affect me until I actually got into anime. I would search for the ones I haven't been spoiled on much, but I heard a lot about. I have now entered a new world. I am finally understanding why this becomes people people's whole personalities i see the hype then i got to the shows i always heard everyone talking about death note akame mob one punch man all that good stuff then i finally got to my personal most spoiled series of all time i was always one of those bro 1000 episodes man i'm out of here but mind you, I knew the whole crew, I knew some relatives, I knew the form he eventually obtains. I felt like I was pretty informed enough to where I can just keep up with the new spoilers. Just like I'm doing with JJK currently, I feel like I didn't even have to watch for myself. But I was wrong. Doing that to any series is wrong. Because when it came to One Piece, I never knew the how. Remember when I said JJK spoilers gives me the wins, the who's, the how's, the why's, all of that? Maybe like I decided with One Piece, I should look for another reason to give myself motivation to catch up. Even though the One Piece spoilers were bad, I started to wonder things. Like how did the crew get formed? How did Luffy obtain Gear 5? How did this new form turn his hair and clothes white? How did Zoro lose his eye? God damn it, I'm gonna ask every time. But yes, I became very curious. Then I decided to tag along the journey. And I will be thorough with y'all. In my binge era with this show, after a nice long day of doing absolutely nothing or a night of streaming, I would sit my laptop on my bed, prepare the bunion. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I would watch One Piece Geeked absolutely out of my mind and the bunion would have me to a sense that i am inside of the show so when people ask me why i know so much about one piece i feel offended like bro i was there i mean like with them on the ship Wh what do you mean yes <laughs> This has ended up being a One Piece Glaze video. You should have read my bio before you clicked here. I fell in love with a series I hated on for a while, and I was spoiled badly before ever even tuning in. But that became positive. I wanted the stuff that I was being spoiled on to make sense. I wanted to understand why a kid made of rubber is being compared to my King Goku. Why has this series been going on for 20 plus years? Why is this next to Bleach and Naruto in the big three? You see? All these questions, and if I didn't watch, I don't get any of the answers. That was my motivation. Maybe if I find something motivating like that, I will end up fiending to catch up to JJK. And this is where you come in handy because maybe you could drop a comment right now that could potentially motivate me to read the manga. But if not, that's okay. I couldn't find a reason either. And by the way, I haven't fully been spoiled on the ending of JJK, but I heard it was bad from diehard fans. 
So yeah, maybe you could help me find a reason to experience the series. Then there is when me escaping spoilers could come in handy so I can form my own opinion on the ending. But first, when it comes to fixing something that was ruined, you need to find the benefits so you can escape. That there, folks, is my multi-perspective on spoilers.